worry, Mr. Devlin. You're in safe hands now. These nurses are going to cut your clothes off. I know, I've had the same dream myself. That's got to be it. All right, what's next? Have you heard anything yet, Tracy? No. What's the job? Fertility clinic. <laughs> Do we need more people? Peter going to be coming up? I haven't told Peter. Well, you haven't told him about the party. I haven't told him about the job. You're kidding. What's he going to think when he hears all this racket going on? I just don't know what's left to be said. Bruno's achievement in Nosferatu was uh, to create a film that in changing nearly all the details of its source material. <laughs> <laughs> Tracy's. 
thanks a bunch. This is exactly what I wanted to avoid. Oh, really? Well, I don't believe you. You just can't do this to someone. Do what, Peter? Do what? I'm sick of this on again, off again, not quite a relationship. Every time it starts looking serious, you just jump back in your shell like a clam. It's like having an affair with a yo-yo. Well, your answer to that is to line up another job, and you're all set to leave town, and the first thing I know about it is the headache I get from your frickin' leaving party. Yes. I don't understand you. What do you want from me? Missing the point. I don't want anything from you. I'm going away. That's it. Maybe it's me. But it seems so one-sided. You've got to reach out sometimes. You need someone, Peter. I used to think it was me, but... I don't know. Looks like the evening shift's just arrived. I better go. You can come up if you want to. You know, Julie, this is the way I'll always remember you. Um, uh, can I... Can I run you to the station? I've got a taxi waiting. Kind of a practice you're moving into. A fertility clinic. Private one? Yeah. Have you been up there already? Just for the interview. Well. <laughs> well. Thanks for offering me the lift. No problem. Victoria Coach Station, please. All right. I don't want to miss the bus. I don't want you to go. I don't want you to go. Why do you have to wait until now before you can say that? Just uh, don't close the door.
you see Pickford? Yes. I'm Dr. Horsley. Dr. Jen asked me to come and meet you and take you up to the clinic. Have you been waiting long? Oh. About five minutes. Here we are. It's beautiful here. Have you ever lived in the country before, Tracy? I've always been a city girl. Anything back there you'll miss? No. As for the patient, things just arrived. And which one did you finally pick? Contestant number six. Barry wins the sweep. It will remind me. Two years gaining and one year in casualty. And a face and a body that could make a strong man weep. Oh, God, I just love to play doctors and nurses. <sighs> you know what your problem is? You've got a turbocharged libido. Well, it doesn't matter what you call it. I get sick of making babies in bottles. I want to do it the old way. Before I forget how. Oh. Now look what you made me do. Have we got any more of these? I'll show you where your room is, and then I think Dr. Jenner's going to want a word. We're, uh, we're quite an ambitious little operation here. I think you've got a few pleasant surprises to come. As for the rest of it, I'll show you what I can. Uh, some areas are restricted to named personnel only. We operate under various licenses and the rules are pretty tight. Have you met the boys yet? I've met Rob. And what do you think of him? Well, unless that's a carrot in his pocket, I think he ought to go back into town more often. I think you'll do all right here. I'll show you the ward next. There's a maid service for cleaning and laundry, and it's up to you to keep the damage and maintenance book. You'll assist Dr. Jenner in the examination room and run all this side of it in rotation with two other nurses. How busy do we get? Well, nothing compared to what you'll have been used to. Most patients are seen on an outpatient's basis. They only stay over for certain procedures. What do we cover? Oh, all the standard stuff from counselling to in vitro. Dr. Jenner runs a weekly clinic at the local hospital, so there's some crossover with that, but otherwise you'll find it pretty quiet. Where does all the money come from, then? The contract research. It keeps the labs at full capacity and gives budget continuity from one year to the next. You won't have anything to do with that side, of course, but if you're interested, to talk to Dr. Jenner. He's the one who bangs the drum and raises all the finance. I'll show you the animal house now. This is Tom. Hi. Hello. Tom's the junior research assistant here. And uh, that, I'm afraid, is about as much as I can show you right now. The rest of it's one of the restricted access areas. Don't worry, you're not missing much. I've seen one room full of rats and monkeys, you've seen them. <laughs> and this is Alison Wells. She runs the animal facility. Tracy Pickford. The new nurse for the patient wing. Hello, Tracy. Welcome to the team. Hope you can stand the pace around here after what you've been used to.
And what sort of time do you call this? What do you want? All right, that's grumpy. How many of the other dwarves can you do? Never mind, old bean, never mind. Spare me the old bean routine. I could be the best friend you've got around here. Then heaven help me. There was a case review meeting while you were away. Who's this, then? That's my daughter. What was the meeting about? She's at college already. She's 19. What was it about? No hope business deals with potentially high embarrassment factors. The great high muckamuck doesn't want a fiasco like the last one. I don't suppose you've got anything on the books that might fit the bill. Besides, on the other hand, you know how much the great high muckamuck loves a great British success story, especially given that they're so thin on the ground these days. I think we both understand what I'm talking about. I know exactly what you're talking about. I had a phone call before I left the office. But I hope it's something positive. There's been a definite breakthrough with the research. Suddenly, things are looking very promising. Oh, come on, that's waffle. When I say something positive, I mean something more than promising. Three multinationals have been over and seen the data. One of them has already made a conditional offer on patent rights. The others are almost certain to follow. After that, it's not our problem anymore. Your problem? Well, I hope we'll be hearing some good news on that subject very soon. Or else we won't be hearing anything at all. Do we understand each other, Hennessy? Yes, Minister. Good egg. A packed lunch like that should be grounds for divorce. I'm sorry, I was forgetting. You're divorced already, aren't you? Yes, sir? Hennessy. Get me Dr. Jenner, will you? Is there anything I can get you? Do you need anything? I'm sorry, Dr. Jenny, you startled me. And I had the feeling nothing would surprise you, Tracy. How's the night shift suiting you? Fine, but I, I don't exactly feel overstretched. <laughs> Not quite what you're used to, eh? Not quite. Well, it varies. Listen, we're going to have to sit down and talk properly soon. I may have some additional responsibilities for you. I think you're going to fit in here very well. Going. Hard to be sure after just a few days. What do you mean you're bored? <laughs> I'm used to a busy ward. I never knew the days could get so long. I mean, where's all the business? Oh, well, you just have to stick with it, I'm afraid. Jenna's just, uh, he's just running you in. He'll let you in on the main stuff when he's ready. What main stuff? <clears throat> I'd like to tell you, but uh, I'm afraid I can't. You just have to, you just have to wait, I'm afraid. Are you, um, you going away this weekend? No. No boyfriend around? 
I don't know. Well, what does that mean? Well, there is somebody, I think. What does he do? He lives on his dead father's money, watches old films, writes for magazines. God knows who reads it. Peter doesn't seem to care. place gets worse every time. You're looking rough. I'm okay. You mean that nurse finally saw through you? Yeah, well, that's one way of putting it. You serious? <sighs> Shit. Uh, there's nothing you can help me with. I'm like this. Fred Cavens. What was he, an actor? No. He was a fencing master to uh, Douglas Burbanks. I think he was Belgian. I'll give it to Dave Reynolds. Dave, he's just joined us. How do you want all this? Call me with the basics and send over the rest. I oh, saw the piece in sight and sound, by the way. What do you think? I haven't read it. How about we've taken a cutting for the file? I've heard of Fred Cavins, but who's this Fairbanks guy? <sighs> Belgian fencing masters. I'm sorry I couldn't send our courtesy bus to the station for you, but I'm afraid it's off the road at the moment. We'll get you a taxi, Mr. Forrester. I've booked you a room at the Village Hotel. How long will I have to stay here? Oh, just a couple of nights, no more. We'll run some tests, then I'll give you a thorough examination. After that, we should have a better idea of where exactly the problem lies. Is that standard practice? Oh, absolutely, Mr. Forrester. Only we've had just about every form of treatment there is. And what we're looking for now is just some kind of result, really. Well, we'll see what we can do for you. Tracy, perhaps you'd like to show Mrs. Forrester to the patient wing. My old mum reckons her burglars were gynecologists. What are you talking about? Managed to get all the furniture out know, through the letterbox. <laughs> Come on. Like up a bit. It's not that serious. Well, obviously not for you. Aye, aye. I've got things to cope with too, you know. Oh, yeah. Nowadays you only have to see an anti milk bottle in the street and they get all excited. Oh, Got this great idea. Let me buy a little dog instead. Get him a coat and put his name on it. Oh, shut up. The beats hanging around outside the post office waiting for somebody to leave a pram. Christine, it's so strange to think of the flat standing empty and the old crowd split up forever. I mean, I'm not sorry I made this move, but I am wondering how long I'll be able to stick it. Nothing ever happens here. I don't know how they make their money, but it can't.
that flop. Look, we got close to one of the farms, but nobody came out. The dog set up a racket. We didn't stick her out. So, Tom, right, if you've got an ass full of pennants. It wasn't his fault. Oh. Well, you take a look at the cage, and if you're asking me, it was open from the inside. You're not serious. No damage. It's all right. Just a big dose of sedative. We caught out with him before he went to ground. You are bloody lucky. It wasn't my fault. We'll talk about this tomorrow. <laughs> I know it. Staff meeting tomorrow. What's happening, Miss Wells? One of the chimpanzees got loose. That's Where did they cool. find it? Hiding in a barn. Is there any danger? No, no, he'll be relieved to be found. But it's best you keep out of the way just for now. to say so now. Nothing's that easy. No, I really don't see why it's such a problem. and I'm sorry, but I'm not home at the moment. If you leave a message after the tone, I'll call you back as soon as I can. Thank you. It's Tracy. Call me at the clinic as soon as possible. Please. Up at the clinic. Is it that obvious? Just a lucky guess. You're a long way from being the first. Anything you need, just buzz me. I suppose you've seen it all before. I haven't been here that long. But you've got nothing to worry about. The technology's well developed and the success rate gets better every year. There are no guarantees, though, are there? No. But we will keep on trying. That's what my husband said. But I'm still here. <laughs> I'm going to be in and out for most of the evening. So if I don't come straight away, don't worry. I won't be long.
Sounds like a wrong number on the lock. Go and check, Tom. Don't panic, boy. It's just the dog's body. Hello? Somebody there? Tracy? Mr. Forrester? Uh, is it possible I could speak to Marie? No, this is the staff phone. There's no way I can put you through. Oh, well, um... Give me your number and I'll get her to call you back. It wasn't my fault he got out, you know. I never thought it was. Well, will you tell that to Jenna? I'm really sick of being treated like dirt around here. I'll soon get over it. Can I ask you to do something for me? Tell me what it is. Do the late feed without me. I need to drive down to London tonight. What's happening? I let my flat to somebody. He's supposed to stay for a weekend and he's been there for over a month. Mm -hmm. It's time he went. Are you, uh, think you're selling it or moving back? Don't forget the extra vitamins. Going somewhere? Business in town. Do you get there often? About every other weekend. I kept my flat when I moved up here. It's the only way I've managed to keep sane. I know what you mean. Do you always drive at night? Less traffic. Miss Wells, I need to ask you something. I don't understand all this atmosphere. And nobody's telling me anything. I'm a big girl, Miss Wells. I need to know. Do yourself a favor, Tracy. Do your job and keep your head down. Don't ask for anything more than that, because believe me, you don't want to know. Excuse me. take Alison for a sentimental type. That's it. Well, I don't know what it is, but somebody ought to speak to her and she's not listening to me. She's still around? No, she's gone. Mm. Well, we'll have a hard time when she gets back. I know well enough by now. It's nothing we can't clear up. coffee. Who's interested? Tracy. Come in. I've got some stuff to check in the lab. Excuse me. Well, we haven't had a chance to talk much since you joined us. I'm sorry. I know how busy you are. No excuse, though, is it? How have you settled in? Fine. And life in the country? <laughs> Dull as it can get. Yeah, I know exactly what you're thinking. But there's a reason for our being here. You can't do work like ours in the usual academic atmosphere. Too many people trying to look over your shoulder. I wish you'd seen this place when we first found it. Extraordinary. That little access road was so overgrown that I drove up and down the valley for half an hour just trying to find it. I started out here with almost nothing. But I'm quite proud about what it's turned into. 
I'm not saying I don't like it here. I haven't been 100% straight with you. I have my reasons. I don't know what you mean. Come on. You must have guessed by now that our fertility work is only a sideline. Well, I'll tell you more when the time is right, Tracy. That's a promise. Were you in the animal house tonight? I've been with Marie Forrester most of the evening. Couldn't have been you, then. Coffee would be nice. you were supposed to be offered in Camden Town. Too far? Too far from what? You don't even have a job to go to. No, Eddie, no more excuses. I want you out of the flat by the time I get back. Well, you can get yourself a cardboard box and a railway arch for all I care. But that's your problem, not mine. And listen, you listening? If anybody from the clinic rings, I'm around, but I'm out. Understand? No. No, I'm staying somewhere else for tonight. Something's probably going to happen. And I don't want to be around. Oh, hi. What's new? I'm making coffee. Is the boss having any? He is. Spit in it for me, will you? I always do. Yeah, I'll have a cup. I didn't realize we had chimpanzees. Who told you that? Miss Wells. It's, it's not something we advertise. Next thing you know, there'd be busloads of hippies with placards and, you know, or worse. Can I have a look? No, give me a break. I'm already in trouble. Well, what's the big problem? I thought we were friends. So did I. So why are you doing this to me? Is it that serious? It's that serious. Dr. Jenner said he was going to tell me anyway. Well, let's just leave it at that. I'll get the coffee. Hello. Who let you out? <laughs> in the papers by Richard Schickel and then Kevin Brownlow the parade's gone by
We're not safe here. We've got to go back to the house. Who did this? Pretends the devil himself and run as you've never run before. What about you? Going right behind you. Don't even look back. You all said. Just watch me.
sighting so far. Commencing search of section number five to the west of Jenner Clinic. Received, over. Abandoned farmhouses, no map record. Roof mostly intact, no immediate signs of life. Log for check by ground party, over. Coordinates received. Proceed to lake area to be ground unit Yankee Alpha. Proceeding. Engine off, please, sir. Engine off! Where are you heading? Uh, the, the Jenner Clinic. Yeah, do you work there? Uh, no, but, but um, I, I have a friend who does. What's your name? Oh, I don't... Peter Carson. Right, turn your car on, Mr. Carson. Follow me. Don't try and pass me. Tell you that there's apparently been an accident and a fire, and that's all I can tell you right now. Knows it around, sir, at the back. Is he from Bloody the hell! It's Magnum PI. Oh, shut, shut up! Five more minutes that I've been on the plane. Yeah, but think of what you'd missed. Where's the chief? Uh, he's in the schoolhouse, and he wants to see you right away. Where's this? This bad? You better believe it. Who's your friend? Oh, put him somewhere for me. When I found him on the road, said he was visiting one of the staff. Did he bring a wreath? Come this way. Just wait here, sir, till somebody comes to see you. Oh, what is all this? Look, give... I want to see Miss Tracy Pickford now. Look, this isn't helping anybody. Just wait here, sir. They're not giving anything away. I'm trying to get somebody out of them for hours. Are you from the clinic? My wife is. I left her there last night. Just want to ask something really funny. The longer it gets, the less I want to know. No, I'm sorry. No. You take it. Excuse me, sir. Shaffer, DI, Stonehill in there? Yes, sir. How many of these have you got? Nine, sir. No. Mike, good holiday. It was at the airport. What is this? Lots of good. I've seen no like it. What do we know? No. No suspects, no motives, nothing. But somebody walked through that place and chopped the lot of them. Every last one. Press? Locals only so far, nothing we can't contain. Fertility clinic? Life's never simple, is it? I want you to organise a search of all the farms in the valley, see who saw what. Check round the outbuildings in case Jack the Lad's gone to ground. Think there's a chance? Never know. We had this place sealed within half an hour and I've had the helicopter checking over the tops. Now took there but cheap dudes and grass. Well, don't call it watertight. I picked up someone coming in on the lake road. 
Who? Said his name was Carson. Did he? Do you know him? No. Well, I think we ought to. Take that stuff into the schoolhouse. Just bear with us, sir. Will Sir Carson will you please? Number seven, please. We haven't got identification on this one. Do you recognize her as Tracy Pickford? Anything you want to tell us right now? I was at home. All night? Not home. Uh, no, um. I wasn't. I wasn't there when she called. Got any witnesses to where you were? You. Right, I'm going to get somebody in to take your statement. I want to know everything you know about Tracy Pickford, what kind of girl she was, her friends, her work. I want the names of those witnesses. No, 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 um, no, no, please, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute. I mean, what right have you got to, to treat me like this? When you made your statement, you'll be taken over to the hotel. Stay there, please. A couple of things, Chief. What? We've checked DSS records. Nine staff on the books, nine bodies on the ground. One of those is a patient, which means there's either one staff member still to find I or... I want them found, dead or alive. Message from Chief Constable. There's a man called Hennessy on his way up from London. And he's coming straight here. Hennessy? Nah, some shiny ass from Whitehall, from what we can gather. I know who he is. He's trouble. There's a bloke in the schoolhouse. Get his statement. Hennessy? No, it isn't. What number did you dial? Well, dial again, get it right. And that's the news for the region. Coming up next, today's farm prices. But first, the weather from Adrian. Something I can live without. This is all I need. Who's that?
Come on, who is it? What's it look like? Who are you? Don Johnson. Clinic? Yes. Come sit in the van for a moment, please. I'll, uh, I'll call you a car. There's a car at the gate. I didn't hear anything. The road gate. The police are there already. Good. Well, hadn't you better go down there? I'll be later. Hadn't you better go now? I've been up since four. Nothing round here works. The landlord's on my back and the place is going under and I really couldn't give a stuff about the bloody road gate. How can this talk somewhere else? Here suits me fine. All right, then I'll put it in words of one syllable. All your men out. You've got the place like a circus. We're dealing with a major incident here. We're dealing. I'm taking over. You? That's a joke. I don't make jokes. I won't do a damn thing for you, Hennessy. That's exactly the way that I want it. Now, stand by to vacate the area with a minimum of fuss. It won't wash. What about all the press? We've put a D notice on it. You have got something to an idea. The investigation will continue, but you'll hand it over to my team of specialists. Shall we get started? because I don't intend to repeat myself. Right, firstly, I want you to know you've done an excellent job here today. Many of you are unused to this kind of setup and you've been thrown into the deep end. So what I've got to say, there's no relation to your performance here today. Now I want all this stuff out and back on the van, every last drop of it. Communications, get on the radio and call everybody in. I mean, everybody. Right, that's all. Oh, I said hand over, Stonehill. I didn't say abandon everything. What about an explanation?
all right. Soft as buggery. Don't worry about him. Is it about the gate? No, it's about the clinic. Jenna Clinic up the valley. Oh, baby farm. Yeah. <laughs> Did you hear anything last night? I heard a bang. Thought it was thunder coming on. Yeah. Yeah, a bit of an accident. Seen anything out of the ordinary this morning? Like what? Strangers? No. Come in, ask your phone. I'll get it. Do you mind if I uh, take a look around your outbuildings? Oscar Ford, Oscar Ford. Hello, Crichton here. Charlie, are you with Sheffer? Yeah. Everybody's called back. Yeah? That was business then. Don't even ask. We've got radioactive sheep. Can't sell them and I can't get compensation. Otherwise, life's just rosy. Got every farmer around a Mercedes. Ah, some do. I'd better get on. I'll be at the barn if you want me. Fine. Fine. calling us back. The chief's calling everybody back. Why? He didn't give a reason. He just doesn't want us messing about. Make you make his bloody mind up. Seen the dog around? Not since this morning. I don't understand it. I've never known he's strayed before. Perhaps he knows what a sinking ship looks like. I can't go on like this, Des. I don't know that we've got any choice. I just wish we could sell up and leave. We've got nothing to sell. At least for the sake of the children. What do you think it's doing to them? Things they say. They're young. They've got good imaginations. You don't even listen to me. I never do anything else. Who are you? I'm Peter Coyson. Who are you? Alison Wells. I worked here. Really? Did the police let you through? Were you here when, uh... I was supposed to be. I had to identify them. All of them. I was, uh... A friend of, uh...
What happened here? There was a fire. The propane tank went up and took most of the roof with it. Boy, you know, I saw Tracy. And she doesn't look as if she's been in any fire! Like I said, I wasn't here. have escaped. Come on, Flynn. Come on. Let's go in. That's better, isn't it? Hey, let's get inside. Good boy. That's I'll have to get a vet to look them over. I don't like the way they're sounding. What's that for? Officially, you were never in here, all right? Whatever you say. I thought, uh, this was a fertility clinic. It is. It was. Uh, you know, I mean, what is all this? I mean, why the animals and, uh, and, uh, the dead ruts? I mean, what is this? Look, I had a bad night last night, then I wrecked my car. And then I came home to this. So I can do without all the questions, all right? Listen, listen, no one's telling us anything. Not a single soul is telling us anything. And you're the... And you're the first friendly face I've seen. I'm sorry. Let's just get out of here. Let me give you a lift. Okay. Just a baby farm. I know. You know, what I really don't like is that we're not being trusted. That's an insult. It'll get out in the end. Ah, you know, it works. Put out some stories, discredit our witnesses. Anyway, it's yesterday's news, so who gives a toss? Right. And so what really happened? I'm going to find out. I'm going to leave a token presence. One man, telephone and all the information we've managed to gather so Good idea. Good idea. Me! Is the phone in the office? I'll get you a bed and a stove. It'll be better than home. I'm on holiday. Your wife's on holiday, your kids are on holiday. You missed the plane. You've stitched me up, haven't you? Mike, I need somebody here. If I can have my best man on the ground, that's a bonus. You shouldn't be here. You knew she was. You even knew her name. And yet you just kept me hanging on. We were checking up. You've got a record, Mr. Forrester. I was 19. I hit a bloke for something he said to her.
not a damn thing in them. Any of them. Not one solitary damn thing. Don't you think that's strange? Here. Just over there by that tree. Oh, no. <laughs> Friends of yours? Friends of Eddie's. He's supposed to have packed his bags and left. Maybe he's a slow packer. You've done enough. It's not your problem. No, it isn't. But I can help out, can't I? Stop bottling it up. Talk to somebody. Even if it isn't me. I just can't believe it happened. What happened? I've been with Jenna for years. I don't know anything else. I don't know what I'm going to do. Look. 
you and Tracy. We. She didn't even know the half of what was going on. It should have been me instead of her. It should have been me. It should have been me. I'm on my way to the ESS now. Come on now, look. Calm down, calm down. Now, you understand that he is allowing only part of your money. You should get some money by the end of next week. The rest depends on your appeal. Uh -huh. Don't call a man an arsehole. He's only doing his job. Mr. Donaldson? Yes? I'm Captain Windler. Social Services gave me your name. Yeah. I take it you've no objection to signing the Official Secrets Act? Hey. Take Mr. Donaldson to meet Hennessy, will you? Somebody's got binoculars on the yard. Any trace? Yeah, it's the copper. I can pull him if you want. Is he causing problems? Nothing we can't handle. No, I'll leave him be for now. Anything else? A few false alarms. One call out, nothing to get excited about. I mean, to teach it to recognize sheep, but the error rate's too high. Infrared? Whatever you like. Hennessy wants to know where his car and driver have disappeared to. I sent them back to town. He'll love that. Well, he can hitch a ride with one of the rovers. It'll do him good. Who's that he's with now? <laughs> Don't ask. It's Hennessy's idea, not mine. <clears throat> The man works with the deaf. He's a sign language interpreter. Hennessy thinks he's going to interrogate the chimpanzees. I swear by almighty God that I will well and truly interpret and explanation make of all such matters and things as shall be required of me to the best of my skill and understanding. And you can't be serious about this. Ask them about the night of the fire. I want to know who opened the cages. That's kind of steep, isn't it? Just do it. <sighs> but better days than this. You won't get many worse if you don't make the effort. Can you understand me? When fire burned, who opened cage? She says, please train her open cage. I don't think she understood the question. Trainer can't open cage. Who open cage? I think she's trying to say that the trainer opened the cage. That's not right. Ask her again. Can you? I thought you might need to sleep. What time is it? Just gone ten. I've got things I've got to do. I'll drive you. No. 
No, thanks. What will you do? Throw him out and get the flats fumigated, I suppose. Don't worry about Eddie. I can handle him in daylight. No, 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 no. I was thinking more about your job. I'll survive. Look, uh, if there's anything at all I can do, you know, d don't, don't hesitate. Thanks. And thanks for last night. No, that was nothing. Uh, do you think there's going to be an inquest? What? What? Well, I mean, there's got to be an inquest, hasn't there? I, I mean, that is the law. I've no idea. Look, you might as well know, I heard them at the school and they were talking about pulling the top policeman off the case. And he was less than happy. What else did you hear? Not as much as I'd have liked. But you were hoping I might be able to fill in a few blanks for you? No, 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 listen, please. What then? Am I being interviewed because you can forget it? I don't know what happened. I don't want to know. I don't even want to think about it, so just drop it, Peter. Whatever you heard, forget that as well. If you won't do it for my sake, you better do it for your own. These aren't the kind of people you mess around with. What kind of people would they be? You're stirring up trouble and you'll get hurt. Just leave it alone. You've still got the chance. Bye, Peter. Scarecrow. Mr. Scarecrow says no. No, he doesn't. He says he wants some, don't you? He says it's wee wee. But he doesn't. He says it's your wee wee. It's not wee wee, it's tea, and tea wants some. Well, I don't. I don't like wee wee. You're not getting any anyway. What's going on here then? We're having a tea party. Has Toby Dog been here with you? No. Only goes missing when you need him. I'm bloody sure that dog can read minds. Whose birthday is it? It's a tea party for Mr. Scarecrow. Mr. Scarecrow? Take her away. I know. So? Look, Mr. Forrester, what you want from me, I can't give you. It's not my choice, and I'm not very happy, but it's just the way it is. I'll go to the press. I can't prevent you from doing that. But I can't encourage you either. And that's it. What do you want me to tell you? Go on, Mr. Forrester. I'm looking for a big group of clients. Came in last night. They're not here yet. Where are they then? Don't know. It's firm of private undertakers. I've never seen before. They brought a couple, said the rest were not quite ready for delivery. I mean, how ready do you have to be? Which ones are they? 2023. This one. Any of them been PM'd yet? Nothing we have been told about. Is that her? Who else would it be? Who opened cage when you ran from big bad fire? Tell her she gets no more chocolate till she gives us an answer. <coughs> What's she saying? Um, she says she's doing her best. Hmm. 
Peter. Sarah? Where are you? Identified. Not a cheap. It's moving bloody fast if it is. Replay. There's too many trees. It's one of the bad spots. Mm. Scramble a rover. Nice work. on the move. Don't worry about him, he's heading the wrong way. False alarm. Check. They're lying, of course. <laughs> Anything I should know about? Just routine. I finished with the interpreter. If someone can take him back to civilization. No joy. Stupid beasts. Do you believe they're covering up, trying to tell me it's the trainer that let them out? Sounds pretty bright to me. What? I said right. Another thing, have you seen my driver anywhere? Not today. I'll give him hell when I see him. He's got a good beer guide in the glove compartment, probably thinks he's on holiday. Get that, will you? Hennessy. Mr. Hennessy, it's Alison Wells. There's nothing I can tell you from Tamriel. I'm calling about Peter Carson. I talked to him this morning. I don't know, but I think he'll be sound. I did my best to warn him off. Nothing too explicit, I trust. Oh, don't worry. I was the soul of discretion. But he'll be left alone now, right? Whatever's appropriate. You take the chance to unwind. I'll be in touch when I need you again. 
I've made a list of names. I want you to see if you can get me a background on any of them. Usual kind of thing? No. This is something different. Returning to base. Hang on, sir. We've lost Torchy. An atom bomb, I should think. I don't like it.
nobody else is watching television? I'll come back and get you in a minute. Doctor. Do you want the doctor to see you? It's Doctor Dalesky. Thank you. Have you got anything for me? I've made a start. You're walking on glass, Mr. Carson. I don't think you know it, but you are. What do you mean? Jenner's easy enough. He's all public domain. But Hennessy's something else. What have you got on him? Nothing yet, apart from tracing his pool car. There's resistance. I can get round it, but it won't be legal. The question is, are you willing to go that far? Whatever it takes. I know a couple of high flyers who can get to the information, but money won't buy them. What will? Heroin. Oh, but we, we don't have to get involved. I just trade them the names of some contacts. One question. Is it ethical? No, no, no. Will it work? It'll work. Now you tell me something. Why? Call it unfinished business. Look. I'll get some cash to the office and you get to work on Hennessy. See what you can find out about Jenna. You're the boss. Yeah. Are you ready? Are you the bailiff? No. Well, then I'm ready. What do you want? Um, I'm looking for Alison Wells. She isn't here. Do you know where she's staying? No. Well, have you seen her? No, she went back to work, didn't she? And I've told her. She's better off with me keeping an eye on the place than leaving it stand empty. Well, excuse, excuse me. Are you saying she's got another job? The same one as before, as far as I know. They keep leaving messages for her. Who? Somebody called Hennessy. Thanks. You don't know if she's got any plans for the flat, do you? I mean, you know how it is. I'd be pushed to find anywhere half as nice. Well, not apart from giving a set of keys to her brother. I didn't know she had a brother. Oh, yes. Oh, they don't talk about him much. He gets out sometime next week. Oh, yes? Yeah. GBH. Thanks for your help. No trouble. I wanted the kind of job where I could come to work at this time of day. No. No what? No, thank you. Nobody's asked you anything else yet. I never give money to people in the street. Nothing personal. It's a principle. Uh, Jacko and Benny the banker told me to say hello. And you still owe them two and a half grand for services rendered. I don't appreciate this. I don't appreciate it at all. I was lying about the money. That was just to get your attention. Well, so why did they send you then? I lied about that too. You do an awful lot of lying. Maybe I should take the civil service exam. I don't get this. I had assurances. Well, you see, my world's kind of like yours in a lot of ways. There's all the regular stuff on the surface, and then there's a lot that you don't actually see. Not exactly an old boy network, more a kind of old scores network. God. Now, 
do you want the good news? Is there any? It doesn't have to go any further than this. Well, I'm waiting. Give me some rumors on a certain subject, that's all. And then? Then nothing. Then he owed me a favor, and you were it. Debt canceled. I never leak trade information. I don't want trade information. Well, what then? I just want to hear something useful about the Jenner Clinic. No. It's just a small-time clinic. What's the big deal? No. to get that one open. I could have waited inside. I didn't want to start this off on the wrong foot. So how did you find me? In the phone book. Apart from that, I haven't found out a damn thing. How about you? Same. Have you spoken to anybody? Hardly anybody. Been banging my head against the brick wall. So we'll come down here to talk to the press. Maybe they think I'm inventing some kind of a hoax. They keep passing me off to rival newspapers. And nobody seems to bite. So what are you gonna do? I don't know. I don't even know what day it is anymore. I saw how she was. She didn't die in any accident. She was killed. And now they're being protected. They're talking murder here. And nobody but me seems to give a toss. What do you want from me? I want us to team up. They can't ignore us both. Look, I'm at the end of the line. You were there. You got to move about more than I did. Did you see anything? Did you hear anything we can use? Not a thing. You're stalling on me, why? Look, hey? all he seemed to want is blood. Now what'll do me, what'll satisfy me, is justice. Blood's the only justice we'll get. Is everything else? It's just bookkeeping. You do it your way. You keep your conscience clean, because that'll suit them just fine. The fact of it is, I'm in a bit of a hole. Well, doesn't that just make the two of us? I had somebody lined up, but the guy threw a wobbler for no apparent reason. What do you need to know? Is that avocado? <laughs> I've had three different bosses in the last two years, and I know all their passwords. I'm amazed sometimes. I mean, who was it that thought of putting avocado on a bacon sandwich? I can get to just about anything. I'll have it for you by tomorrow. This afternoon. And if I can't get it, then I'll find you someone who can. I mean, the whole place must be like a sieve. Nobody need ever know. David. David, please. Just someone to call. Don't make me grovel for it. Julia. I don't want your sympathy. Before anything else, 
I'm gonna need a few names. Say by four o'clock. No camping gas. Well, it should be in tomorrow. Can you last out? Oh, yeah, I'll burn the furniture. What's going on out there? I wish I could tell you. Well, nobody's happy, I can tell you that. You want to hear my boss on the subject? Could the staff is writing to our MP? It's a free country. It's a free country, all right. We're a practice ground for the RAF. We've got that bloody monstrosity on the coast poison the sea. Half an hour before the nuclear train comes through, my brother's phone goes dead. Every time. Can you tell me why? Depends. And then what, though? Do you remember a CND? Won't touch it. Ever been to a communist country? Nah. Well, what about Yugoslavia? Holidays don't count. You got a motorbike? When I was younger. Well, they are, then. Things like that find their way onto a file. It's like a point system. A motorbike? Potential member of a counterculture. And you didn't hear it from me. Phew, we're a free country, all right. Free to do as you're bloody well sold. Can I have the order, please? Peter. There's no school. I was thinking of that bag. It'll be heavy with all this. I'll manage. Hey, what's this say here? Fruit. We need lots. Well, there's an eye in fruit. Did you write it in? It was my dad. Your dad? Here, I'll make that up. Give us your bag, Peter. How are your mother and father, then, Peter? All right. Has your dad managed to get his tractor fixed, then? I don't know. Come on, let's do your coat up. Tell your dad that there's plenty in the valley willing to help, but nobody wants to pry. That's all. I'll tell him. It's Dave Reynolds again. I've set wheels in motion. I've got a contact for you to talk to. I don't want to discuss it on the phone. Uh, you want another meeting or, or what? Hello, researchers cooperative. Uh, yeah, uh, I'd like to um, speak to David Reynolds, please, as soon as possible. <laughs> Got a human face. And Mr. Hennessy as well. Detective Inspector Schaffer, one of Stonehill's men. I'm Captain Windler, in charge of the special unit. Why are you here, Schaffer? No, I've been watching the circus. I know you have. It's the only way into and out of the valley. If we want to move something, or somebody, we have to do it through the village. We've nothing to hide from the police, Mr. Schaffer. Or from the public? We have to move carefully. This isn't an ordinary manhunt. You're telling me. You checked on a number of the valley farms, is that right? A few, didn't finish. If you give me the list, we'll finish it now. Well, it's a bit late, isn't it? We've got everything pretty well sewn up. Nothing's happened that we don't know about. He's gone. He'd just be one of a crowd by now. I really don't think so. This is one case where a waiting game's the only one to play. Mr. Hennessy, sir, there's a call for you. It's urgent. So what exactly are you waiting for? A 
homecoming. Yes. London called. I got this from Carton's phone. I got your message. Who's this contact? She's just a starting point. You know Gregory's cafe around the corner? Yeah, I've been past. I'll see you there as soon as you can make it. What do you reckon? Well, we can't have that. Tell London to jump on him. Who's this contact? My name's Diane Roman. I've already been in touch. She says she'll talk to you. What is she? I don't know how you describe it. Ex-associate, I suppose. She's an academic. He worked with Jenner in the same department before he went commercial. You'd kill yourself. That'll live longer than you. Good. What did Jenner work on? Thesis work on the sexual impulse. He castrated cats without anaesthetic. What did he find? It took him three years to decide that it put them off. We're not talking about an academic high flyer here. He got a dodgy medical qualification from somewhere abroad. And then he just went from grant to grant doing low-grade research, confirming other people's results mostly. Then he got into Lowski's insulin project. Get more from Diane. She was pretty helpful on the phone. Who's this, uh, Leah? Bielski? Yeah. Nominated for a Nobel, but he didn't get it. Dead and gone. She's most inconsiderate of her. What about Hennessy? Neither dead nor gone. It's really too early to say. Give me time, we'll crack him. Trump, are you copying this mobile over? Well, give us a decent angle on it. We might be in business. Try this one. <laughs> Where'd you do your observer training, Henshaw? That's the bloody grocery van. Now. I didn't think you'd be coming back. You know what they say about bad pennies. everything you wanted. Peter Carson. Oh, am I late? No, I was early. Oh. Uh, can I help? Oh, thanks. <laughs> Look, um, I said yes to this, but I'm still not 100% sure what you want from me. That could make two of us. <laughs> I didn't know Jenna personally. I was just around when he was around. That's as close as it got. I was just an undergrad then. All I knew of him was in-house gossip and his reputation. Which was? As a main chancer, mostly. He had an eye for fashion and a nose for money. There are many like that. Same as you get in any profession. 
money. That's the trouble with the great British public. They expect anyone in a white coat to be Jacob Brynowski. What did Jenner work on when he was here? Human insulin, using genetic engineering to try to produce it. It's an old hat now, but it was hot stuff in those days. Oh, I don't know. It just doesn't add up. It makes, makes no sense to me at all. Give you an example of the way Jenny used to work. He started off on the project as a junior, just another physiologist on the team. Four years go by, and he's as good as running the show. Then there was some big falling out with the project director. They took it to the dean. And who's the one who goes? Presumably not Jenna. <laughs> Absolutely. It broke poor old Lyowski. Is that what killed him? Oh, well, Lyowski isn't dead. He may be demented, but I don't think he's dead. Stuff, eh? Why couldn't he stick to Douglas bloody Fairbanks? Well, you're not happy. No, I'm not. Where'd you get this? Quiet spot of leakage from the patent office for that one. Other contacts for the rest of it. I've got a business to consider. I've got a lease and two telephones. I'm half a respectable. You want to drop it? I think we should. This is all danger, no glory. When are you seeing him again? Yeah, what do you want? Oh, I'm going up. Would you mind explaining what the... What the hell do you mean? You've got to change this body.
Mr. Lievsky, someone to see you. Mr. Lievsky. Dr. Lievsky. Some days are better than others. Oh. Some days I can feel as sharp as ever I did, but uh, this place doesn't encourage it. This one? Uh, the one above. Thank you. Pleasure. Couldn't you find somewhere better? Who would have me? I've no family. Not very much money, and all the bad days. I don't know how I'd cope. You seem okay to me. Well, this is where I live. Not here. This whole situation is just bad wallpaper. Of course, I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for Jenna. But you know that already. Everybody does. What exactly happened? Well, I took him in, treated him well. He had an average mind in a good way with animal data. I was spending so much time out of the department, raising funds, attending to meetings, that I never knew what he was doing until it was too late. He was picking people off one by one and winning them over. My own project was being redirected, and I didn't even know it until it was too late. How could he do that? Science is sex, Mr. Carson. Behind all the cold print and the dull journals, there's passion and jealousy and the terrible, terrible fear of unimportance. Denna had come up with something far more seductive than I could ever offer. How many people were involved? A dozen in all, mostly the medical staff. They were the ones he took with him when he set up that bogus clinic. Come on, let's go and entertain the troops. What do you mean by bogus? Jenna had no interest in human fertility and involved me had the insulin project. With the clinic, he had the right kind of staff, the right kind of labs, and an inexhaustible supply of his raw material. And the right kind of friends. Oh, yes. Always the right kind of friends. Would you mind? No. Oh, uh, <laughs> oh, don't worry about them. Those that aren't stupid are stone. Those that aren't other get tied to their chairs. What about you? I fake it when I have to. Yeah. It's um, after this. <laughs> Let it run for a minute. <laughs> no, 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 I prefer beer. Come on. <laughs> oh, God. Who oh. did make these sandwiches tonight? Well, well they're awful. <laughs> when was this? I forget exactly. There he is. He's not Jenna. Hmm. Oh, no. <laughs> Come on, I've nearly finished this. He had won over there. most of them, even then. Oh, no. I was probably the only one there who didn't know. The irony is that I'd started him on the way. I'd approved the first stages of hybridization, but only as bench experiments to observe the rejection mechanism that would take place. There was never any question of assembling a complete hybrid DNA. If I'd thought it possible, I'd have vetoed it. Are you saying that Jenna put together a transgenic organism? Uh, what? A chimera, it's, um, an animal with the hybrid DNA of two different species. The species barrier had been crossed before, but never successfully with a predominantly uh, human component. Good God. Is, 
Is that feasible? <laughs> it depends who you talk to. Some researchers deny it's possible. Some deny it so fast they don't even wait for the question. Here. As I understand it... Here's the belt I want you to see. ...50 hybrid. It is predominantly a private. What do you make of all that? If you'd have asked me yesterday, I'd have said give it 50 years. I wouldn't have thought it was possible. Oh, anything's possible. Not everything's legal, that's all. What would it be like now? I doubt if it lived. I mean, you saw it. Say it had lived. Who knows? God, the patent would be worth billions if you could get it through. Billions? Well, you could experiment on them like people, but without any of the ethical problems. Harvest them for transplant organs, send them wherever there's radiation. No votes, no strikes, no rights, no problems. God, this thing could be bigger than the silicon chip. And for once, we're ahead of the States. Do you approve of all this? I don't approve or disapprove. I'm a scientist. And as far as science goes, this is about as sexy as it gets. What are you going to do now? I don't know. And do you have any contact with Jenner at all? Because if you do, I'd really like to get to him. Will you fix that for me? Go on, admit it, you owe me one. You know. I'm going to do us one anyway. I'm going daft over there. And I'm going soft over here. A pot of tea out front. It's for Mike. Do you know? I think you're wonderful. Mm. Well, that makes two of us. Found out anything yet? Nothing worth knowing. Hey, you had a visitor this afternoon. From that jumped up little squirt in the pinstripe. What do they think they are? They were all very polite. But he as good as threatened us. What were I'm not sure. But I'll tell you one thing, he's not making any friends round here. We're not his clerks, then he can just push about. It'll come out somehow, even if only to spite him. Yes, love? Do you happen to have a room overlooking the street? I can pay extra if it's a double. How about the one you had last time? I'll be fine. Have you just registered? I'll get you a key. Michael. Hello, Michael. It's, uh, it's Peter Cross. Uh, hello. Uh, I need to, to, to speak to uh, David Reynolds as soon as possible. I've got a video on. Uh, he isn't uh, I available want... right now. I'm afraid he, he's dead, Peter, and they're looking for you. I knew it. I've died and gone to hell. Thanks very much. Nothing personal, but this has to be the worst week of my entire life. Lousy food, gung-ho types, cold showers. It's like one of those dreams when you're back at school. How much longer do you have to stay? So the job's done, worse luck. You should see my room. It's ghastly. Where have you been put? You haven't put me anywhere. I'm in my old room. The country. You can keep it. I always liked it. What will happen when they find him? Why? 
I may need to know. No, I don't think you do. I know you took care of the thing, so it's difficult. By the way, I forgot to tell you. You were wrong about Carson. What do you mean? He showed too much interest. He's to be schooled in the error of his ways. Is he back? Somebody getting out of a cab. this mean anything? Do you know what I actually found out? That I was down on record that I had a history of mental illness. Me. I haven't had a day's illness in 25 years, mental or otherwise. What did you do? I went to see that Peter Carson. He didn't want to know. So this afternoon I came down here, straight to the clinic, because I thought maybe, just maybe, that's where they're hiding the bastard. What were you going to do? I had a gun with me. Oh, Jesus. I didn't even get close. And anyway, it was only this old Lou and me old man I brought back from the war. <laughs> Most I could have done with that was probably blow my own arm off. Have you still got it? They held on to it. Five of them came out of nowhere. Jumped on me. Threw me in the back of this rover while they checked me out. And then this sergeant guy comes along and... ticks me off like I'm some kind of kid. You were bloody lucky they didn't just blow you away. I understand how you must feel, but that is certainly not the way to handle this. I don't know where I go from here. You go home. To what? We were getting the treatment for nothing. Our consultant referred us on to Jenna. He said we were an unusual and interesting case and that he'd treat us for free. <laughs> That's one free gift I'll always have cause to be sorry for. The car's there now. Can't have been more than half a minute.
WJYV 70K. Heading north down Bassett Road. All units stop and detain. Copy this tape for me. Um, it won't take long. Uh, just no, three, four I don't minutes. Know about three, four minutes. Look, um, it's all I'm time for. Please, it's important. I'll have a look and see. Cheers, mate. Now it's your turn.
comes home, she can be your mummy too. Settle down. That's right, settle down. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Settle down, Flynn. Do you hear me? Don't sit. Sit down. Just sit down. Do you hear me? Now that's better. Sit down and go to sleep. Here, here. Go to sleep now. Do you hear me? Just settle down. That's better. like a wrong number on the lock. Go and check, Tom. I can have your attention. Dr. Halsby. Yes, good news, I'm happy to say. Out of the latest batch of cloned embryos, we have three that are developing normally. Two are already frozen, one is ready for implant. Now, I don't have to tell you what this means to our project. 
would no longer be tied to a single specimen and would have demonstrated that we have a product for potential mass manufacture. And we've been banging our head against this particular gate for so long and it's hard to believe that it's opened. But there it is. And we have the host mother in the patient wing now. Marie Forrester. Right, procedure. We we'll monitor events and then induce a spontaneous abortion after 21 weeks. We transfer the fetus to intensive care and then carry out a second implant so that the mother can go away happy. Any problems with this? Good. Well? No one there. When can we start breaking down specifications? You mean for patent application or the product notes? Either. Well, as soon as I'm confident that we can release the first model for full investigation. From the way he's been behaving lately, I'm sure none of us would be very sorry to see him go. That'll be your department, Thomas. Assuming, of course, that you feel as if you're up to it. Just tell me what you need and when. Full works this time. You want sacrifice? Full dissection. Well, if there are going to be any surprises, let's have them now and not discover them further down the line. But at the moment, we're not even sure how the hybrid enzymes work. We can hardly go commercial on that basis. Questions? Well, when do we go public? Well, we have the deformities to correct, and then we have to get the breeding program up and running. Look, there's only one way to present this, and that's as a fait accompli. Anything less will be shot down before we start. Understood. Right, thank you. Carry on as normal. know what he is saying. <clears throat> he still won't believe. You can understand. I think he doesn't want to. But it doesn't have to be this way. You understand me, Chad. I can't protect you. But you can stay or run. Whatever you want. It's your choice. my fault he got up on you now. I never thought it was. Well, will you tell that to Jenna? I'm really sick of being treated like dirt around here. Let's soon get over it. Can I ask you to do something for me? Tell me what it is. Do the late feed without me. I need to drive down to London tonight. What's happening? I let my flat to somebody. He was supposed to stay for a weekend and he's been there for over a month. It's time he went. Are you, uh, think you're selling it or moving back? Don't forget the extra vitamins.
I'll need to take full details of your license. Sorry. What kind of vehicle would you like? Uh, golf. I, I, I'm done. Something for a quick getaway. <laughs> right, credit card? Thanks. This may take a couple of minutes. Depends how busy the lines are. I suppose you have robbed a bank or anything, have you? No. O O six seven, three O two six, three 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 nine. Yes. Yes, I have. Yes, that's right. Yes, I would appreciate that very much. Thank you. <clears throat> Is there anything wrong? No. No, nothing at all. Yes, could you just wait a couple of minutes? Sign on it. He's run inside. I suppose you used the siren. Of course we did. Take another look. We'll go through. all the way Sell. Date to be lugging it all this way for nothing. I'll tell you one thing, I won't be taking it back with me if you can't. You can have it as a salad instead. It's all right, you know. They really didn't see you. I've been doing this trip every fortnight since they moved him up there. They do that, you know. They move them all around and they never tell you where. Half the time, they don't even know themselves. I've seen more of the country since he got sent down than ever did when he was at home. The only thing that ever got him out of the house was the thought of breaking into somebody else's. Listen, you don't mind me talking, do you? And you'll have to say so if you don't. Because I can go on like this for hours. I'm like a budgie with a mirror. I don't mind. I, I mean, it's only me. It's not a common or anything. We've already got someone else back home as it is. Well, why do you still go and visit him? Well, 
I look at it this way, I've still got my choices, with or without him. But without me, he's got nobody. And that's nothing he can change while he's in there. Not unless he starts wearing his trousers backwards. But I mean, to have nobody. Nobody on your side, nobody even thinking about you. Well, I wouldn't wish that on anybody, would you? Hello? Could I speak to Deborah, please? No, this is her father. Deborah? Daddy. I'm sorry I didn't phone you last night. Whoever that was answered the phone, asked if I was Mike. Who is he? What does he do? Has he got another name? Is Daddy being curious? Listen, I've got some bad news. No, 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 no. Nothing like that. I won't be able to see you in the play. I know. I was looking forward to it. No, I was a bit of a problem. Something I'm doing has it, got a bit serious. No, no, nothing for you to worry about. Listen, as soon as I get back, we'll go to that little Italian restaurant, have some gnocchi. You can bring this mic along. Oh, my God, the, the battery's down. Darling, save me a programme. You should start you off. Thanks. What do they cover? All the main European news agencies. What about the States? I'm talking for those. Most of them have London Bureau, you know. Yeah. Yeah, I suppose they do. What is it? Job applications? Uh, yeah. Yeah, something like that. Live up to the covers. Don't ever say you don't get looked after. Have you run me bath? Landlady's on her way over. Wouldn't take you long to get established, does it? And the son she never had. Well, like the dog she went and lost. Come on. <sighs> What's happening? We're working on the assumption. Whoever he is, he won't leave the area. Also, that they don't have to look very hard for him, because sooner or later, he's going to come to them. They're confident of him. Every now and again, they all dive out and round up a sheep. They're shielding him. Shielding him, sheep. They're gonna wipe him away. Every time they scramble, 
It's like a flamethrower with her. They've already had at least one bad accident with it, but nothing changes. You've got judge, jury, and destruction of the evidence in one bargain package. Do they know you're watching them? They know and they don't care. And this is, but we're all controllable. Aye. Uh, what is it, juggling act? Sooner or later, he's gonna have one ball too many. We've got the victim's relatives, we've got the coppers that were here on the day, we've got the people in the valley and the press. Don't care what Hennessy thinks. They're not all arse liquors yet. I still don't know him, did it? He's one of their own. So a prodigal son got a bit too prodigal. Now they want to stick it all down the pan and pull a chain. Makes me sick. They fools to themselves. Make enemies of the rest of us. Where do you think that's going to get them? Come in. What can I do for you? You wouldn't have such a thing as a roll of sellotape. I woke up in the middle of the night, reached for the light switch, bang goes the bedside table. Thanks. Don't you keep spares? It's in my luggage. My luggage is in the car. Windowless sent the car away. Well, he is. Him and the others. I think there's nothing in life you can't solve without running 15 miles and shouting at it. Are there any developments? Do you mean, did the beast turn up last night? No. When did you first see it? The first time. Just after it had been... I don't know. Born isn't the word. What did you think? I'd been prepared for it, of course. It looked so human. It almost threw me. Almost? Well, oh, look at what it did here. I'd say that settled any argument forever, wouldn't you? My God, look at me. I never don't meet anyone I know. I have to sneak back in the dark when all this is over. By the way, your fellow Carson's been giving us a few headaches. What did he do? He dug up Lyowski. Lyowski's pretending to be a vegetable. Do we have a witness who says otherwise? Where's Carson now? Apparently, he's heading this way, which is fine. Why? Well, he'll run straight into the arms of the glory boys. <laughs> Pretty good, eh? Is it ready? Only just. We put the new trim on this morning. Alison Wells? Yeah, yeah, I'm a friend of hers. She's pretty tied up at the clinic. She said to come down and uh, pick it up for her and uh, pay for it. I will look on the bright side. You got free accommodation. A la carte service, all the country walks you could want. What's the Greek island next to that, eh? Jeez. I'm powerless. What is there for me to do here? Somebody's got to write a report. You keep watching. back here so soon. Not after what you've been through. I didn't think I had much choice. I'll get no answers out of him. I don't need answers. 
So what will it get you? Look, I know what you're trying to say. But just look at me. I'm going nowhere. I might as well have been up there with the rest of them. That's the truth of it. I'm just a dead man. Still walking. You should go home. I've been home. We have a trace. What am I going to do with you? I don't suppose you've got the faintest idea of the trouble you're causing. I mean, for you, not for me. I'd have thought the message was pretty clear. You were given a fair chance, but no. You couldn't keep your nose out. Just ask yourself one thing. Who does this help? You? Miss Pickford? The relationship was over. And now she's dead and gone. So what on earth did you expect to achieve? There was an accident here. The causes have been contained. At no time were members of the public in any danger. These are the facts. Anyone who claims otherwise helps only our enemies. And there's a name for those who help our enemies, Mr. Carson. I want you to take a little time to think about that. Who is he? He's the Deputy Commissioner for Genetic Control. I'm not sure whether he's Home Office or DTI. They regulate the business here. Mostly they just give it whatever it needs. Nobody quite anticipated this, though. What exactly do you know? All of the background, and none of what happened. What did he mean by enemies? Anybody with a rival claim to a patent, or people like you. You know about Chad, don't you? Is that his name? I gave it to him. I'm the one who mostly raised him. I taught him to sign. He can't speak, then? Never had the chance. He used to cry a lot as a baby, so Dr. Jenner cut his vocal cords. It was nothing cruel. It's a standard laboratory procedure. I just don't see you in all this. Then don't see me as something I'm not. I was in this from the beginning. I believed in it. But you don't believe in it now. Let's just say I ran out of ambition. So how did you get out here? I uh, stole your car. It's off the road. It was. Um, well, it is now. 
like someone tried to put a stone through the window, you know, by the farm. I mean, near enough where it happened before. He's been watching the road for me. What do you plan to do with Carson? I really don't know. I was hoping you might have some ideas. Not exactly my department. I suppose you couldn't just take him out and lose him somewhere. Like a dog on the motorway. Could you? No. No. Check the fuse boxes. I'm responsible. I let him out. Why? They were going to carve him up alive. I'd rather he'd got out and died of exposure on the moors. I left him out, and that's how they all died. I thought he'd run. I, I really thought he'd run. <sighs> so he knew he was going to die. He must have hated Jenner. I don't think there's anyone in this world he loved more. You explain it. I can't.
lives the way he likes to live? I wouldn't know. He's only ever lived in a cage. Hmm. You don't understand, do you? Chad was the prototype, but he came too early in the project. Jenna was just keeping him alive until he could perfect the process. The process? I don't think he's here. I think he moved on. You think or you hope? But either way, there's no one around. I think we should look around a bit more. Maybe they're right after all. Maybe he should burn. to get these two away from here. What was that? One you've all been looking for. If you want to be useful, get these two down to the village. Hey, hey! Wait a minute! Wait a minute! She can handle him. She's probably the only one who can.
we do? Listen to me, Chad. Chad. You can't stay here. You have to let us help you. It's going to be difficult. What did he say? He said, could he please go home? Come on, Chad. You sit over there and read that, okay? And um, everything's gonna be all right. Carson, Miss Wells, out of the car, please. You've lost. Now, this can end one of two ways. It's your choice. We've got the Jenner Clinic killer here! And they don't want him to be tried! What are you gonna do? Huh? What are you gonna do? Oh, my God. 
Rocky, cover them up. Nice try, Mr. Carson. It isn't over yet. It's not over yet. Please, something. Well, Dr. Roma, how are we doing? Fine. What do you think of him? Oh, he's perfect. He'll be beautiful when he's fully grown. I'm sure they will. 